I'm Steve Hartman, and <clears throat> today we're going to have our grand finale, I suppose, uh, talking about our Mater Maker film. It's around the first of October, first week of October in Kentucky, and I have pulled the tomatoes up from our urban Mater Maker and got some really interesting results. Um, I was quite surprised. If you recall, um, we put this Mater Maker film, this 12 foot by 12 foot sheet, we put it on top of the grass. I didn't spray the grass. We didn't till it. We didn't plow it. It was live grass, a combination of, of uh, Bermuda grass and, you know, fescue. So uh, we had some great results. Of course, this was in my yard in southern Kentucky, and I had access to water. So the results, I did water these tomatoes once a week or so when we didn't get rain. Um, but it's important to remember we put this right on top of the grass, okay? And it's behind me here. You can take a look. And uh, one of the things I wanted to show you, if you want to, you can leave the plastic there all winter and then pull it up and till it if you want or use a shovel. I've got a shovel here. I'm going to show you how to do that. You don't have to have a tiller. You don't have to have a tractor or a plow. All you need is a shovel and a piece of Mater Maker film. Okay, the Mater Maker film will take care of the weeds. But back to the results, we had some real interesting results. Uh, we ended up with 170 pounds. Now listen, we planted six tomatoes and six jalapeno pepper plants. We had 170 pounds of tomatoes. And we also had 646 jalapenos, <laughs> which was almost 40 pounds in jalapenos. Um, and one of the things I wanted to talk about was the economics, okay? I charged $20 for the Urban Mater Maker. Uh, I charged $30 for the other Mater Maker film. It's 12 foot by 24 foot. The Urban Mater Maker is 12 feet by 12 feet. Um, I want to talk about some economics, okay? Uh, if you look at the plant roots, if you get on MaterMaker.com, I got images of tomato roots um, and how large they are. You will see why we got 170 pounds of tomatoes. We had great root production. It was able to attain lots of water, um, and that's a critical part. If you plant tomatoes in pots, you don't have access to the water. The roots can't get as large, so your yields are lower. I would say it's probably pretty safe. If you planted them in a five-gallon pot, you would have less than eight pounds of tomatoes per plant. And we ended up with, give me a second here, uh, 23 pounds per, I'm sorry, 28 pounds per plant on the Urban Mater Maker. It actually outperformed our Mater Maker film, our comparison. Um, they produced 23 pounds. And why is the difference? Well, a couple of reasons. I had disease problems on the one at the farm because I, I had a patch of tomatoes without the Urban Mater Maker. And the disease was able to progress from them to the plants that were on the Mater Maker film. But here, uh, I did not have any without the Mater Maker film, and that film was able to be a barrier to the pathogens in the soil. And that's a critical aspect. What, it, what happened then, it enabled the plants to keep producing up until October. And so we ended up with a higher yield, and actually ended up with some uh, plants almost nine feet tall. Uh, so, and now this is planted with the plastic no-till, okay, it was on the grass. I ended up with plants almost nine feet tall, and I had 28 pounds per plant, so I had some fantastic results. Uh, the plastic film act is a good barrier for disease, so it enabled the plants to produce tomatoes into October. Um, which I think helped increase the yield. Um, but some great results. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, the economics, what I wanted to talk about. We went to Myers. I took some pictures of the price of tomatoes. 
took a picture of the price of jalapenos and the current price the first of October at Meyer in 2017 was a dollar eighty nine a pound and the current price for jalapenos was ninety nine cents a pound and so if you multiply that times their total number of tomatoes which was uh, 170 pounds of tomatoes and we had 38 pounds of jalapenos and add them up it's a total of about 300 and 358 dollars of organic produce that you grew on your own okay now the tomatoes and myers are not organic and neither are the jalapenos and and i if i remember correctly tomatoes are in the top 10 uh contaminated with pesticide list and i think apples are there tomatoes and I don't know why anybody sprays tomatoes. I don't have a whole lot of problem with insects on tomatoes. Uh, so basically you're growing your own organic tomatoes, $350 worth of tomatoes and peppers. And the, the piece of film is $20 for a 12 foot by 12 foot. I, it's a great product, guys. And I know I'm, I'm selling it, but I'm telling you, it really works. Uh, get on MatterMaker.com and look at some of the images. I'm going to try to get some on this video so you can kind of see. Um, you know, I'm pretty straightforward with this. I haven't manipulated the numbers. We actually counted and weighed the tomatoes, and we counted and weighed each of the jalapenos. So I think, I don't know, the average weight per tomato was about 0.36 pounds and we ended up with 475 tomatoes on with our six tomato plants now it's just six you the the matter maker film you could plant 12 tomato plants if you wanted to um, I wanted to have some peppers because I love that homemade sauce it's great um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like under the matter maker film Okay, guys, and, and, and show what it does. This matter maker, I specifically engineered this matter maker film to prevent any light from passing through this film. It is not perforated. I do that for a reason. And it's three heavy gauge three mil. All right, what you buy, basically what's in the stores for a mulching film today is one mil. And it, it's not much thicker than the stretch wrap that you put around your food in the, in the refrigerator. Well, that, that just doesn't work <laughs> very well. You're going to have holes in it. Light passes through it, and weeds can survive under that film to a degree. Um, but anyhow, let's pull this Mater Maker film back. Uh, we'll take a look underneath it and see what we got. Uh, just bear with me. The film's going to shake a little bit. And... Uh, let's check it out. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this. We'll get a little closer look. If you can see, let me step over here on the uphill side. You can notice that the grass is completely dead underneath this Mater Maker film. Okay? This enabled the tomatoes to grow without any competition. Now, well, I have lots of crabgrass in my yard, and you can kind of see how it sends runners underneath underneath the plastic and this is one of the main reasons uh, for the large dimension for the 12 foot by 12 foot dimension that crabgrass will send runners under the film under whatever you use so that's one of the things that we look at now let's take a little closer look at what's going on here now this grass is completely dead so all it is look I can just I could just peel that back. There's nothing alive. All the roots have rotted completely. Notice the moisture under here. I can actually dig with my finger and look how moist that soil is. Well, that is that is how the Mater Maker traps moisture underneath the film. And it enables the plants to grow even in dry weather. If you look at uh, the historical weather, uh, we haven't had any rain in Scottsville, Kentucky for three weeks. Okay, so it's been really dry. And if you look at this, 
this makes this is really moist soft soil all right now what we're going to do with this i'm going to show you how to do it um, is instead of you don't have to have a tiller guys it's very easy now since all the roots are gone from the grass let me step back a little further since all the roots are gone from the grass you can very easily take a shovel and we can turn this soil over it's very simple to do you don't have to have a tiller or a plow okay you turn that soil up turn it over and break it up you can plant lettuce you can plant broccoli cauliflower I have every intention now this is a weed free zone guys okay you don't have any weeds all the seeds underneath that film weed seeds have germinated so you're in pretty good shape for planting a fall garden or planting or just leaving the film on there and pulling it back in the in the springtime and plant your green beans you don't have it's very easy to tell with a hand tiller if you want um, but it's also fairly easy to do with a shovel so basically what I'm gonna do let me grab my shovel basically what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take this shovel just drive it in the ground we're gonna turn it over just like that over and over now I've got rocks in here <laughs> but I take that soil and basically turn it over and we're gonna break it up it's easier to do with two hands but I'm just trying to show you an example here and we're just gonna turn that over over and over and we're gonna go through the whole 12 feet and 12 feet by 12 feet and we're gonna go ahead and plant our broccoli we got some broccoli and cauliflower here it's a little bit late for planting them in Kentucky but I'll probably put a little hoop net over it so let me put this camera back on the tripod tripod Okay guys, I just want to show you this. I did it took just a minute or two. And I probably did oh somewhere around a I don't know, a fifth or so of this 12 foot by 12 foot. It's very easy to do. You do not have to have a tiller uh, if you want to plow. Now remember we got 28 pounds of tomatoes per plant here, guys. And I want you to show you the soil. You know, soil in Kentucky in some areas is very poor. Um, I got rocks in here. Uh, the soil's fairly red, almost as if it's red clay. And I, I'm certain that most people have better soil than this, guys. Um, but it's really easy. If I can do it in this soil, you can too. And I can hand turn this over probably in about 30 minutes. It's 12 foot by 12 foot area. And I'm probably going to only do about half of it because that's all the room I need for my broccoli. And uh, maybe I can get some pictures of the broccoli. I don't know. Depends on how cold it gets early in the year. But I'm telling you this Mater Maker film will really make your gardening easier. It's heavy duty. It's 3 mil. I mean it light does not pass through it so don't be afraid to get it it's $20 for this sheet 12 foot by 12 foot and it's very effective at, at keeping the weeds out and giving you an area where you have a weed free zone and you can reclaim it's very easy to reclaim a garden using this Mater Microfilm and guys I really appreciate your time um, 
I hope you learned something today. You don't have to have a tiller. You can just use a shovel. It's good exercise. Uh, I already broke a little bit of a sweat, and that's a good thing. So um, I hope you had a great gardening season. Uh, next year, check out the Mater Maker. Uh, you might want to get you a sheet of this film. It'll really increase the output of your tomatoes versus uh, potting or raised beds. I think you're better off planting it in the ground, guys. All right. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.